Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about another dual deck, Merfolk vs. Goblins. What I like about dual decks is you know exactly what you're getting in them. Therefore, it's not a question of, oh, a mystery. I don't like mystery packages. I don't like repacks. I'm not a big fan of booster packs right now, especially not a big fan of booster boxes. I like to know what I'm getting in the package. And this package is not as good as Bless vs. Cursed because the spread is more even. Even spread generally is not good. Like Bless vs. Cursed has free cards that can be more than the value of the deck itself. It has Gravecrawler, which would take a lot of time. It has the Geiss, which is already $8, $9, so it's pretty close to that $10 mark anyway. And it has Champion of the Paris, which I truly believe, had it not been reprinted in the dual deck, would already be a $10 card given its play in five color humans. Now, Murphok vs. Goblins has a different graph, and it's equally interesting. So you have a $4 card, a $4 card, a $3 card, a $2 card, $2, $2, $2, $2. So if you combine from Master the Waves up, and assume that there's no other value, you have, what's that, six, almost uh, nine, 12, that's another nine, $21 of value in the first few cards. That is very, very good. Now the cards themselves, I feel like could also go up. Now are they the champion of Paris type of spike? No, they're not. But could they hit $5, which for any of these $2 cards would mean doubling. Yes, I do feel like they can hit $5. Goblins is an extremely popular type. And the Warrant Instigator, this card used to be very expensive. It does have different artwork, which I don't like the, I like the original artwork a lot better. I kind of wish that they had Goblin Lackey. So this product is not the best. I think what happened is people are underestimating this product. Question, can every product be profitable and can every product be speculated on? Answer, yes. It depends on the price of the product. Now at 20 bucks, this product sucks. But at $10, nah, it's worth a gamble, right? Because I like Instigator. I think Instigator has a large, large opportunity to be a $10 card. It is modern playable. Should we get like a goblin set with, let's say, Emiko Goblin? Let's say Emiko was a goblin. Would this not be like the absolute best card ever? It would be pretty good. It would be pretty good. Now, yes, removal is very heavy modern. You have lightning bolts and fatal pushes and all these very cheap removal at instant speed, but would a casual player really care if they can get, let, let's say, a Goblin Emiko down every four games? No, they would be like, yeah, this is worth it. All right, Master of the Pearl Trident, a very, very popular card in the Merfolk decks, including the modern decks. I'm not going to really talk about Legacy anymore. Like to me, it's non-existent, so I'm just going to focus on modern. So Master is a very, very good card in modern. I like it a lot. Lord of Atlantis, you could... I believe this set is being undervalued and pretty much poo-pooed because literally they could have picked the strict upgrades, right? Goblin Lackey, much better. They could have picked the Lord of Atlantis. Much better, in my opinion. But they picked a card that was like sort of good, but not really the one that you wanted. This was a very good speculation. RTR just took a beating. Uh, Chromantic Lantern is the only card that I can think of that has gone up. Maybe the Shock Lands have gone up a tiny bit, but this should have been an amazing speculation. It literally doubles the goblins you have. Think about that for a moment. For a casual player, this is insane. And as a single speculation, just like Blessed vs. Cursed, I like some of the cards as speculations. And if you can buy the entire box, why not? Like, what was that box I bought a lot of? With the Windswept Heath? Like, yeah, it's Windswept Heath. It had the Anna Feza, which I really liked as a speculation at the time. Didn't quite pan out, but still, I have high hopes for her. And it had the Rhino, the Siege Rhino. It had, oh, Collected Company. Wow, Collected Company has taken a beating lately, but still playable. It had Coco and Windswept Heath. That is not a product that I have any concern about. 
and this is also not a product I can have concern about at 10. Now, if you're playing 16 or 20, yeah, it's probably going to be much riskier because, again, it's $20 versus 10. A lot of you ask, how do you know this product's going to hit $10? I know. With coupons at Dave and Adams, it's already $10. With free shipping, you could order, but you would have to order like 200. You had to order 20 of them to get the free shipping, and then you could use the $20 off coupon and then use a 5% off coupon. And yeah, I like I like the set. I think it has a lot of these casual cards that just randomly spike for no reason other than they're old and not reprinted for like 10 years. And this is a lot different. So in the other scenario, I like Bless vs. Curse because A, it's older. And B, it's the value is coordinated in the top three cards. This card, this is more spread out. Uh, you have a bunch of $2 cards. And yes, I could see, I could see these cards going up in price, but I cannot see them going past $10. But on the other side, Champion of the Parish, I could see easily over $10. And I could see Geist easily over $10. So in that case... It's kind of how you want to split it. Do you want more cards or do you want less? I typically say less, but there's also the potential for any of these to spike. Now, you might be asking what could possibly be, what would you need to spike the price uh, of this set? And you would need something pretty interesting. You need a very strong goblin. The Warren Instigator is modern playable in my opinion. I think it's a very, very strong card. And if you had a goblin that was very expensive, that like would cost 10 mana and did something ridiculous like Aldrazi, Warren Instigator would spike overnight. There's no doubt. I have no doubt in my mind that's what would happen. Uh, now, even Master of the Waves, I could see that spiking. I mean, it's unique. It would have to get an element, right, where you double your elements. That would be pretty good. I would say, yeah, that, that's very, very good. Uh, anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.